Absolutely. You know, um, all you got to do is look at Nicky's resume to see who he is and what he's done in this sport. I mean, he is, uh, he is a legend, you know, that, that name's not thrown around very easily these days. He's achieved so much. Uh, but I feel like it's my time, you know, it's my time to, to step up to a legend. I, I've made a career out of fighting the best guys that are available, you know. Um, I don't want to be one of these guys that just wants to pick and choose their fights. I want to test my, myself and challenge my skills, challenge my heart, challenge my work, work ethic every time I step in there. So for me, this is a big fight. I've done the hard work. I've done the sacrifice. I've done the hard rounds, not just in fight camp, but throughout my whole career to get here. And I'm just excited to showcase who I am on fight night. Yeah, I think so. Um, having said that, I'm happy to be guided by the bosses. You know, I, I understand that there's there's uh, a system to the way that things work and contention and things like that. And I know it's not necessarily just as simple as beating the number one contender. But when you look at the landscape of the division, I don't see anyone else who could really uh, challenge for a title fight after me beating Nikki. So uh, I think once I, I beat Nikki, the next stop has to be Regan for the, for the uh, kickboxing world title. Yeah, as I said, Nikki is a legend. Nikki is a guy that I've watched my whole career. I've watched him forever, you know. It's kind of like like that guy that everybody grew up watching, you know. Um, his strengths are he's aggressive, he's a power puncher, he's a power kicker, he doesn't take a backward step, he's durable, he's hungry. He's coming off two losses, so he's definitely keen to get back in the win column. But for me, that's what excites me. That's what makes this fight, like, I don't want to beat a Nikki that's on the, on the downward spiral. I want to beat Nikki at the top of his game. I want to beat the, the Nikki that we've all uh, like grown up in, in love watching, you know? That's the Nikki that I want to fight. That's the Nikki that I want to beat. Because then to, to beat the, the, one of the greatest ever, you know, like, you beat him at his greatest, then, like, where does that leave you in, in the ranking system? That leaves you at, at the top, you know? So for me, I'm just super excited to get in there, showcase my skills, and test myself against somebody that I've admired and looked up to for a long time. Yeah, I think so. I think he, he gets frustrated at times. Um, and I think that's my job to kind of bring out that frustration in him. Um, it will, you know, it's like, I don't want to give too much away. I want to save it all for fight night. I want to surprise him and I want to surprise the fans. But, uh, you know, we're bringing, we're bringing something special for this fight. And I think it's going to be a fight that everyone in, in their living rooms around the world is going to be on their feet at the end of this. It's going to be nine minutes of nonstop action. We're going to stand there toe to toe and we're just going to go hard. And uh, I think uh, people around the world are going to be surprised at how much both of us, not just me, uh, he has to give too. you know, I, I owe it to him out of respect, you know, like, like I said, he's a legend. He's a guy I looked up to for a long time and I owe it to him to bring my best game and to make him respond with the best that he's got. And that's what I want. So I'm, I'm excited, man. I just can't wait to do this. Like I said, I think this is going to be a back and forth battle. I think that we're just going to absolutely wow fans around the world. We're going to wow the one championship bosses and we're going to both cement our legacy with this fight. And I think that's what is exciting, not just me, but fans around the world, as well as Nikki's fans. I just, I think it's just going to be a winner for everybody all around. And I'm, I'm not really, Really in the business of calling people out too much, you know. I think when you look at my division, everybody's a superstar in my division. So I'm happy to fight anyone, anywhere, anytime in my division, you know. Um, we've kind of talked to, for a little while about entry. That kind of excites me, you know. I know uh, a, few, a few guys around, in even in the kickboxing division, have talked about it as well. So we'll just see what happens, man. I, like, like I said, I'm happy to fight anyone that they put in front of me. And uh, I'll, I'll make a show of it no matter the rules, no matter who, no matter where, no matter when. So throw anyone at me and we'll, we'll make a show of it. I've been training in all areas of MMA since I was a kid. I've been doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu since I was about eight or nine years old. I'm a brown belt. I've been a brown belt now for nearly two years. Uh, I train with some of the best MMA fighters in Australia, the guys that fight in the UFC, have fought in the UFC, guys that have fought on some of the biggest promotions in the world. And, and I hang with them in the gym, you know, um, so for me, like, I'm not just a, a kickboxer, I'm not just a tie boxer, I'm a martial artist, man. And I'm just willing to, to test myself, not only in fights, but on the mats every day in the gym and, and take everything that I've got to a, a whole new level. So in answer to your question, yeah, I am training MMA. I train MMA every single day. My dad's a first degree black belt. We roll every single day without fail. Most, most days, twice a day, whether I'm in camp or not. So, man, whatever comes at me, I'm ready for anything.